After calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, President Biden appeared pleased with the changes that Israeli forces have made following the botched drone strike that killed seven aid workers. Did you threaten to stop military aid to Israel? I asked them to do what they're doing. Dozens of Democrats, including former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, have written President Biden demanding a halt in weapon shipments to Israel. The top Democrat on the House Armed Services Committee weighed in earlier. The central point here is we want Israel to change the way they are conducting this war. Now, Israel has had a very aggressive approach from October 7th forward, and it's, it's understandable why they reacted that way. It is not working to their advantage, and it is causing a devastating humanitarian crisis in Gaza right now. Many Republican lawmakers disagree and say Hamas must first release all the remaining hostages, including some Americans, before any ceasefire takes hold. Now is not the time to waver on supporting Israel when they're in the middle of this conflict. And I've been a, a strong proponent of this war ends when Hamas is eradicated. And, and people in Israel will never forget October 7th, but it seems as if the Democratic Party is forgetting the, uh, October 7th. It appears the tipping point in U.S.-Israeli relations was the Israeli drone strike earlier this week that killed seven aid workers, including an American, Monday night. Israel took full responsibility and sacked two senior officers and punished three others. A similar drone strike during the American withdrawal from Afghanistan in August 2021 that killed 10 civilians, including seven children, went unpunished. U.S. and Israeli forces in the Middle East are on heightened alert after Iran vowed revenge after an Israeli airstrike killed a number of senior Iranian commanders in Syria earlier this week. At the White House, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.